get to some information we just got from the Charlotte Fire Department. They tell us the fire was accidental. It started on the back porch in a stove made of stone. Now here's what's left of all that damage out there. You see furniture piled up outside. A man told us he broke a window to escape. And I smell smoke. Bo Ray saw this when he went to the back of his house. And I get out, and I go to see, and a big uh, fire and burning it outside. He alerted his family inside. I wake up my sister and uh, every, everyone. Then he made his escape. I broke the wind, uh, break the, wi the window, and then. Uh, and uh, get out. Officials say six people got out, but Bo says his nine year old nephew, who bears his name Bo Ray, and his 62 year old mother, Sal Mo, died in the fire. I feel it so sad, but this, I'm, I be strong. Bo trying to pull everything together for his family. Firefighters knocked down hot spots late into the morning, digging through the debris and major damage at the back of the house. Family sifting through the rubble friends offering support. Right now I try to help them like, to get a place to stay, especially for tonight and then uh, for a couple of few days. Neighbors devastated for the family. You can't help but put yourself in their shoes. You, and you can't help but think, there but for the grace of God, go I. You can always replace the house. You can replace what's in it, but you can't replace a life. And just moments ago, someone stopped by and left flowers here. You heard that man say earlier he is working to try and get the family a place to stay tonight. I'm live in East Charlotte. Robin Kennedy, Fox 46.